Hello, today I'll be unboxing and looking at a Lenovo. This is a Think Center Neo 50S. What's nice about it is this 12th generation Intel processor in there. So let's take a look at what's in the box. And at the same time, we'll discuss what some of the features are. Unlike usual, when we've got a lot of high ends i7s, this is actually an i5. So for those of you who are more budget conscience, okay, here we go. So first thing we notice is a box that comes with it. This little box right now has a stand. So it's a little plastic stand that you can put the unit on. There's the power and the mouse. The rest is empty. Let's get rid of that. And of course it does come with a wired keyboard. So for those of you who need a keyboard, there's one that comes with it. And the unit is sitting way at the box, uh, way at the bottom of the box. Let's go ahead and take it out. And take a look. So this is a small form factor. So also known as SFF, or small form factor. And it's great for the office or for the home. I mean, generally I see these in the office. So these are the latest models available and let's take a quick look all right so we've got here is a nice compact machine and it's not so small that it ends up using components from a laptop let's say or from uh, really really uh, small components that tend to overheat and, and give other issues this is a really nice form factor in my opinion so let's take a quick look at what we get with this as you can tell uh, it's got some interesting paint on there it's, uh, in the front. It's got little specks on it. I mean, this is just the way it comes. Um, you'll notice that there are a lot of USB ports on here. So you've got a total of seven of them. And you'll see some in the back as well. Uh, some of the connectivity features are gigabit Ethernet. That's pretty standard in a computer now. Um, from, uh, you know, obviously when you buy one of these, you have to decide what SKU you're going to get. So not only can you get one with an i5 like I just did, of course you can get i7s, i3, so you can go up or down. Uh, I would highly, highly recommend not going less than an i5. I've seen uh, some clients and some people reach out that have purchased the i3s. And they tend to be slow. And <laughs> afterwards, even if you go and increase memory or change the hard drive to get a faster one, bigger one, the processor will still be slow and it might not be so great. So keep that in mind when you purchase one of these. So some of the things are of course expandable and interchangeable. So really uh, what I wanted to talk about is you know USB-C connectivity, some USB ports, there's the power, you could go ahead and can't really see because I'm in back of it. So you've got a microphone port right there and you've got a headphone jack there. So what you'll notice is there is a display port, there is an HDMI, there is an VGA. Again, I mentioned the gigabit ethernet there and some USB ports and of course the power. Now, if you're purchasing one of these and you said, hey, Bob said that these small form factor uh, computers are great, keep in mind two things. One, you've got a smaller power supply potentially than you would have with a larger unit. Again, it depends on what you're getting, but just keep in mind to check what that is. The other thing is you'll notice that these are actually smaller. So these are uh, not full length, um, they're full height rather cards that go in here. So when you get a card, whether it be uh, you know some kind of adapter or anything like that, you have to make sure that you've got the uh, the more compact size in there that they give you the bracket that goes into a smaller uh, form factor like this or else you'll end up with something that will stick out by an inch or so i haven't measured it but anyways so let's take a quick look at what's on the inside what's nice is so this particular model came with uh 256 gigs for uh, an ssd and the memory is eight gigs. So there's two slots in here. So what that means is I could easily add a second memory chip. Okay, and there's a few screws on the back. What we've got in here, I mean, we can see here that there's the uh, 
CD player or burner as well in the front. Uh, there's a, a huge heat sink, as you can tell, with a fan in there, which is great. And you can see here uh, the two slots that are available, so you can add, uh, you know, perhaps a small um, GPU in there, or you could add, anyway, there's other things you can do. And the memory chip really is right underneath here. I'm not going to take it all apart, but it's not terribly complicated, but I, you know, there's one, basically, um, memory slot available to add. If you wanted to remove the 8 gigs that came with this particular model, you can put two 32s for a maximum of 64. Uh, apart from that, like I said, the CPU is something that most people will not change. Uh, when you purchase one of these, it comes with what it is. The memory is very easy to add and remove the drive as well. So usually those are the things that you change. So the drive is basically an NVMe or an M.2 drive that is right here underneath the CD player as well. So when you basically take this portion here, you have access to the memory and to the SSD drive. If you enjoy these videos, please give us a thumbs up and of course, subscribe. That really helps us out and we so appreciate it. So let's go ahead and close it. Um, these units now, when you purchase them, uh, you'll be getting most likely Windows 11. Now, if you're in a domain environment, if you're in an enterprise environment and you have a server, you've got a domain controller, you're gonna wanna make sure that you get a Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro. Uh, like I said, this one actually came with Windows 11 Pro, so I don't have to upgrade the 10 to the 11. Uh, right now, the, the 11 seems very stable. It's been out for a while. Um, I recommend it. I see nothing wrong with it. I know some people are hesitant to switch to the 11. Uh, <laughs> make the plunge. It's, I don't think you're going to find that there's that much of a difference. It's a little visually uh, more stimulating. It's a little nicer, but um, it's, it's pretty minor. So for those of you who like the specs of these machines are going to go out and start researching, this machine, to give you an example, comes with an i5-12400. If you look that up, you're going to notice it's got PCI Express 5 compatibility basically on the CPU. However, this unit really, the slots are PCIe 4. So you just got to make sure that uh, if you're buying yourself um, you know, special adapter or something like that, that you are aware that you are getting PCIe 4 and not 5, even though the processor may lead you to think that that's what you're getting with it. The other thing too is from a memory point of view, uh, these are still using DDR4 and they're at 3200. Um, again, the CPU, if you look up the specs, uh, could potentially have supported DDR5. Lenovo for this particular model picked DDR4. That's what you've got on there on the motherboard. So I'm Bob Peller and CTO Bob. Please leave some comments below if you like this video, if you have any comments on what we've done or what we could do in the future. And of course you can visit us at www.ctobob.com. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.